Hi, I'm Christy. Today I want to talk about how every step or attempt counts. So here I am again in between ser series and owing you an update with no significant progress made. Okay, post complete. Moving on. Okay, so part of me wants to leave it at that, but you probably know me better than that and know that I'm not going to leave it at something that simplistic. As I mentioned in the last update, I've now tried twice to verify AJ's identity and I've been unsuccessful. It's so frustrating. And it's definitely not helping me get over this mental hurdle of how big and overwhelming this process is. It's paralyzing me all over again. Or maybe it's just keeping me paralyzed. But here's the thing. I've had it officially confirmed now, but it's really not new information and no surprise, that I will be unable to complete an application for AJ in any kind of living situation until we have SSI in hand. Therefore, I have to get this figured out. And the sooner the better. So on our trip to Wyoming, we were able to visit a living community. I've mentioned that. While we were there, we received a packet of information about the training center and how to apply. We were also given the information for two different organizations that help you process through their application process. Now, one of these two works specifically with individuals who are not currently residents of the state. Now, I've also spent the last two weeks trying to get back into some kind of routine similar to what I had before the COVID shutdown. Now, I'm still so far behind and I have so many things that I need to do that I feel like I'm actually to a point where I can figure out some kind of new routine. But I've slowly made some progress in getting caught up on several aspects of that routine. And since I've been away from this routine for a year and a half now, I'm trying to remember to give myself some grace and allow myself the time it takes to get where I want to be. Persistence will pay off and I will get there. As for applying for SSI specifically, I'm going to reach out to two different people and see if they have any suggestions on how I should proceed. One contact is the one I was given while visiting the training center on our list or on our trip. The other one is a new rep for one of the organizations here in town. Now this organization is going to help me figure out all the details to getting AJ into a job and into some kind of living situation, assuming we decide to stay here, which is looking like the preferred option right now. Now I also need to look into living options here in town in more detail. Again, I have leads, I just need to follow up on them. And we still need to figure out that special needs trust. Now, this means we also need to figure out who will take over power of attorney for us since we currently have it for AJ. Now, I also need to figure out how to create some work hours to help cover the cost of college. And somehow this list just seems to keep growing and going on and on and on, but I'm sure you understand. Now, once again, I'm hoping that my journey and my struggles are able to help you along your journey. Now, maybe it's just knowing that you're not the only one struggling with some issue, and that's an encouragement to you. If so, great. I'm glad that I can help you feel less alone. And I hope that it motivates you to take your next step forward. You take your next step, and I'll take mine. Now, I also want to remind you, and myself, that any step forward is progress. Be proud of the progress you make, especially if it's something that's difficult or paralyzing or overwhelming. Moving through those emotions is hard. Pushing ahead in spite of them is something to be proud of. Now, sometimes we have to get create, creative to find the solutions or even possible solutions. Be willing to think outside the box. Ask friends for input. Search the internet if you have to. Use your creativity to think of new possibilities to find the solution to your situation. And then take the next step, regardless of how small it seems. Forward progress is still progress. And progress is what is needed to complete a task. Now rest assured that the answers are out there. Be willing to search long and hard until you find them. Now persistence is often the key to success in life. And finally, be willing to ask for help. Sometimes this is the most intimidating step we think out is out there. And yet many times it's also the key to finding the solution that we're seeking. Sometimes it points us to the next step we need to take. One we would have never thought of on our own. So my question for you this week is this, what progress, no matter how big or small, have you made in your area of struggle? I'd love to hear about it. You can leave me a comment below or you can leave me a comment over on the blog. That's at www.havenofhopeforme.com. This originally posted in September of 2021. If you prefer, you can always email me at christy, C-H-R-I-S-T-Y, at havenofhopeforme.com. I'm continuing to, per I'm choosing to continue to press forward on this rocky path so that I can continue to say that life is good and there is never a dull moment.